Hello, four fifth members. Uh, this is Mr. Oreo here um, with uh, the bioplastic. Uh, over here are my uh, first few attempts at uh, making it. I uh, this is, I think my second attempt, my first attempt, uh, failed uh, miserably because I didn't have the, uh, the glycerin. Um, but uh, yeah, I just uh, poured the plastic into uh, little cupcake uh, cups because I figured. Uh, that would be a good way to see how well it holds, uh, forms to some kind of molding shape. Um, and uh, yeah, it uh, comes out uh, pretty hard um, in the areas where it uh, cured uh, immediately. But uh, here in the center where it was really thick uh, when I poured it into the cups, um, it cured kind of unevenly. The uh, outside cured uh, within the first couple of hours, but the inside, um, in the very center, it uh, took several days to uh, to cure, even longer. Um, so uh, where it cured unevenly, it was uh, slightly uh, squishier um, than the sides along here where it uh, cured right away, where it's thinnest. Um, but uh, overall it's still a uh, pretty tough material. Uh, although, uh, I think you can see in there a bit um, where it uh, cracked from the uh, uneven curing and uh, also the uh, the shrinkage problem that I uh, mentioned in my uh, first post. Um, but uh, yeah, and then um, this here is my first attempt at applying it to uh, Pepper Cura and uh, yeah as you can see uh, this is um, kind of the problem with the, the warping from the, uh, the shrinking plastic um, on, uh, although I think part of the problem was that uh, I was uh, kind of impatient and I applied uh, the plastic to both sides at once and it kind of soaked into the, the paper and uh, yeah it just caused uh, quite a bit of warping um, but uh, I, I applied it first to the outside here and it came out pretty smooth there but if you look on the inside uh, let me get away from the light a little bit you can kind of see uh, in there um, the kind of darker spots uh, the camera's kind of having trouble focusing that close but um, yeah um, I applied with the same batches from the outside here I uh, tried to apply it to the inside, but by then um, the plastic started to cure a little bit and it kind of uh, started clumping, which made it harder to uh, to spread. Um, so you kind of have to work quickly with this stuff. Um, even though it has a, a total cure time of, uh, uh, according to the Instructable, several hours, uh, the actual working time uh, the useful working time is uh, a few minutes from when you uh, take it out of the pot. Um, so, yeah, work quickly. Um, but uh, this here was my second attempt. There's still uh, a little bit of warping going on, but not as much as my first attempt. Uh, here, I uh, was a little bit more patient. I applied it uh, just to the uh, outside first, let it uh, set, and then uh, applied it to the inside and uh, so we don't have any of the clumping problem uh, the warping isn't as bad um, but from the shrinking uh, it, there is some cracking here I don't know if you can see it in the video um, but uh, right along here there's some cracking um, let's see if I can get away from the light a little bit um, yeah, that didn't really help. But uh, yeah, so uh, anyways, uh, that's with uh, the plastic di uh, applied directly to the Pepecura. Um Here is uh, where I uh, soaked some uh, strips from an old uh, t-shirt that, uh, that I had cut in the uh, plastic um, while it was still cooking. Uh, so it had plenty of time to soak up the plastic and uh, it actually uh, came out pretty decent um, uh, in areas where it's just uh, one layer uh, thick it's uh, 
pretty uh, flexible. Obviously it's stiffer than just the plain cotton, but uh, it's still pretty flexible. But as you get into areas where it's uh, a little uh, thicker, like here in where it's two layers, it's a little tougher to bend. Um, and then as you get into really thick areas, uh, like here, it uh, it's actually very stiff. Um, actually kind of whack it a little bit um, and uh, yeah it's uh, pretty tough there um, I uh, yeah I had uh, laid out the um, the uh, t-shirt strips like a, a bandage almost around a uh, balloon because just to kind of simulate something that would be uh, approaching the size of a helmet although uh, normally you apply this stuff uh, to the inside rather than the outside but uh, whatever it's just an experiment uh, just to test out uh, uh, this new material here uh, or at least new to the 4th or 5th um, so uh, yeah and um, I had a little bit of leftover plastic at the end um, after I had uh, done the uh, the t-shirt thing so I uh, just took the extra and coated it uh, along the outside in some areas and um, kind of like around here I don't know if you can see that but um, it uh, the plastic started to split again from uh, the shrinking but uh, in the areas where it uh, had impregnated into the cotton uh, we don't really have that problem so uh, Maybe, uh, maybe that's the solution uh, here, or somewhere along those lines. So, yeah, anyway, um, that's the bioplastic. And, um, yeah, if any of you guys uh, want to experiment with this stuff, just um, post it, and um, we'll uh, see if we can uh, do something with this stuff.